With the Math Track, Grade 0, 1, 2, and 3 program, we've got two sections one for the student and then one for the admin, for the parents as well as the teacher. Let's go to the toy store first of all. Hello, my name is Fibonacci Bear, and this is my toy store. I was named after one of the most famous mathematicians of the Middle Ages, Leonardo Fibonacci, and have always been interested in solving problems. The toy store gives me many opportunities to solve problems. Come in with me now and let's solve them together. Click one of these toy displays. The Bear Fibonacci is like the teacher and the guide for the students right through the program. We work under these five different strands where we have data management and probability, geometry, measurements, number sense enumeration, and patterning and algebra. Now in a class situation, the teacher can just um, tell the kids, let's go and click on the yellow toy display, for instance, um, number sense enumeration. Click one of these toys. The toy display with the different shelves will appear. The bottom shelf being grade naught work, then we go grade one, grade two, and grade three type of work. If you put your cursor on a toy, we'll get the heading, let's go um, fishing, and if we hold down the shift key on the keyboard, we'll get the learning outcomes for that toy. If we click on the activity, let's go fishing. So first of all, we're going to get a lesson, and then we'll do the activity. We will fish to make sets that are more than, less than, or equal to the set of red fish on the right. You'll also notice right through the program for grade 0 to 3, the math track, the perceptual skills are built in. We talk about the red fish on the right hand side for instance. The students only use these three buttons at the bottom of the screen, a show, if they don't know what to do, they click on show and the bear will show them. Otherwise they click on go and they will get the activity. Every time you click on go, you will also notice that it's randomly selected um, questions, so you're never going to get the same one make a set over and over again. fish then, the set of red fish on the right. Click your set of fish to throw one back. Click the done button when finished. So what we'll do here, we'll count the fish where we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to less catch than. less than six. So what we do, we click on the fishing rod. And now we can, for instance, catch two, which is less than six. We mark it by clicking on the tick and we get immediate Good. feedback. You'll notice that the next activity will um, appear automatically and also the one paw, we've got five paw prints at the bo um, bottom the right. of the screen. One paw is colored in, it means we've done one activity successfully, but we need to complete all five successfully to get our toy highlighted on the shelf. Right, let's look at another activity. We're not going to do all five now. Let's go to a higher grade, grade three for instance. How many? In this activity, you will be asked questions about some of the toys in the store. Knowing your multiplication facts will help you solve the questions quickly. Again, we have the three buttons that we work with. Let's click on Go. How many stars are there all together? Use the red and blue arrows to enter your answer. Click Done when you are finished. So what we'll do here, we enter our answer, and when we mark it and it's incorrect, we get Good immediate try, feedback. but this is incorrect. Please try again. If we get it um, incorrect for the second time. Good try, but this is incorrect. Please try again. Count and the objects. We're going to get a hint the second time, and if we get it incorrect three times. Good try, but this is incorrect. Please try again. Click the show button if you want me to show you how to do it. It's telling the student he must rather click the show button, let the bear show them first how to do it and then they can try again. Right, let's just do this one correctly now. Congratulations! Now for the challenger, solve the division question. What is 49 divided by 7? Use the red and blue arrows to enter your answer. Click done when you are finished. 
You also notice that they have the objects here, so we can see where the 49 and where the 7 comes from. So all the stars together are 49 and all together we've got 7 aeroplanes. So let's just enter our answer, we mark it. Super! The one pole gets colored in. How many? And the next one appears automatically. Are they all together? Right, um, on the number sense numeration, let's go out and select another strand. Let's go to geometry, for instance. And now we're going to do grade 2 work, exploring solids. Exploring solids? There are many solids in our toy store. Look carefully at these toys, and you will see the solid. The tent is really a triangular prism. The pyramid is really a square-based pyramid. The block is really a cube. Each of these solids have faces, edges, and vertices. In this activity, you will be counting the number of faces, edges, and vertices. Okay, we have the buttons at the bottom again, but we're not going to click on go. I want to show you an extra icon that we have here. That is our right icon. It is a journal writing suggestion for the students, especially for the students who are fast in class and who needs more extension. So if I click on the journal, I'm going to get a suggestion. Here is a journal writing suggestion for you. In your journal, try to stump your teacher. Look at a shape, list the number of faces, vertices and edges, See if the teacher can guess the name of the object. Right, let's go back to the exercise. We click on Go. Click the solid that has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. Click the X-ray button to see through the solids. Okay, we can also click on the X-ray, and they can actually go and count the faces, the edges, and the vertices of each of these objects. So that will then be the... Try again. Which is incorrect. You got it. One pole gets colored in. Has. Right, so this is more or less how the activities work. Under the different strands, we select a, a toy display, we select our toy, and we do the toy accordingly with feedback from the bear. If we go to the admin for the parents and the teacher, we'll enter in our password. We select the class we've worked under, we select this um, student. Then we have a look at the results. The results are listed under the different strands where we have, for instance, data mention probability, geometry, number sense numeration. Let's look at number sense numeration where we did some of the activities where you can see on Let's Go Fishing, kindergarten, that is great naught, attempted five times, that is the A column over at the top there, but we haven't completed it once. So immediately we can see this child needs assistance on that exercise. Then we can also see how much time was spent in that activity by clicking on activity. We go to um, Let's Go Fishing, where we started. Today's date, the time we did the activity, start, stop, and we can see we've spent about two minutes on the specific activity. This can also be printed out and kept in the student's file. So this is the great Nord 1, 2 and 3 program how it works.